Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to see in detail about custom cone root canal obturation technique. Have you ever come across root canals which are quite large, especially in young children? We may wonder how are we going to obturate these root canals with the normal obturation technique? Whenever the root canal system is quite large, especially with the apical foramen size, which is larger than 100 ISO size, it is quite difficult to obturate with any of the existing root canal techniques of obturation. In those situations, we may have to look for alternative techniques. These techniques include the custom cone obturation technique, the reverse cone obturation technique in which the cone is placed in a way that the larger side of the cone is placed towards the apex and the root canal obturation is done. And the other option is apexification with MTA, biodentin or any such similar materials. Among all these things, the custom cone obturation technique is quite effective. It is very simple with a good success rate. Let's see about the custom cone technique. And by the way, I am Dr. Benin. I make videos that will be useful for dentists and dental students. If you are interested in such videos, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Smart Dentistry. The first step is to finish cleaning and shaping. Once the cleaning and shaping is complete, we have to make the custom cone. I prefer making the custom cone with ISO 2% taper cones. And I also prefer to take cones which are uh, not having the markings. And we need a micro torch which can uh, generate heat and we need a clean glass lamp. Let's see how to create and make a custom cone technique. In this example, I am going to take some 80 size cones. The size of the custom cone that we are going to make will not be corresponding to the size of the cones that we have taken. So at first, take the cones, heat it with the micro torch. Don't heat it so much. Just we have to soften the cones and we should never melt the cone. So just soften the cone with a micro torch, holding it from a little far away place and just press it so that the cones will fuse together. Do not compress so much or do not expect to create a shape at this stage. This stage, this step we are doing just to make the cones adhere to each other. So when we are rolling, it won't get separated or it won't go loose. After pressing and creating a shape, just soften it and use a clean glass lab on top of the existing glass lab and start rolling it with the hope of getting a very conical shape and a smooth cone do not overheat it just soften it okay so after softening just roll it do not attempt to do it in the single stretch and do not apply excessive force if you are applying excessive pressure the gutta pecha will start sticking to the glass lab and it may not roll properly so slowly we can see that it is getting the shape, but it is not smooth. So heat it and while heating also heat the glass lab a little bit so that it won't get stuck that easily to the glass lab. When we are rolling it, sometimes it may, it may not be straight. It may lose the shape. It may curl around or it may bend. Do not worry. So we can always adjust it, but apply a steady pressure and a force and just roll it over. We can see that we are starting to get a good shape, maybe a conical shape. 
you may also apply force more force towards one end and less towards the other side while you are pressing so that it is easy to get a conical shape It may take a couple of minutes but it is it is very good and it is an easy technique at the same time obturation will be very very simple and easy so after making it just do not touch with the hand immediately let it cool for some time it may be still soft so after that you may get such a shape a gutta percha cone depending upon the size that you require you can trim off the excess and you may roll it and you can get a final shape so we can see the final cone that we have made that's pretty a simple cone that we can use maybe for greater size of the root canals especially for anterior teeth depending upon the customized size that is required for the for your own patient you may add two cone three cone four cone or depending upon in here i have made such a big cone just for the explanation purpose so after that we have already cleaned and shape and you may you may place the cone inside the root canal and you can take a radiograph and you can obturate it i prefer to use a bioceramic sealer along with this so that even if there are some small discrepancies that will be filled by the bioceramic sealer try out this technique in your practice it will be very easy very effective technique in this situation if you are using a thermoplasticized obturation we will not get a good apical control and we will not get such ready made cones for obturation if you are using a lateral compaction technique we may not get a proper seal in the apical region so this technique is useful in all those clinical situations i hope this technique is easily practicable and you can master it I prefer to use a 2% gutta percha cone for making this and not the 6% cone and I prefer to use the bioceramic sealers. I hope this video is of useful for your clinical practice. Try it out and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.